<sighs> Thirsty. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of We Are Dreams. You already know the title, because you already saw the title, uh, Bioman and MEPR. I forgot the title myself, because I'm looking at it right now. I have to look over to remember it. I honestly don't remember it. I sometimes slur my words, or sometimes I write weird, so if you want to follow along and can't really understand me, the whole dream is in the description down below. This first part is in first person. The dream might have started somewhat different in a different place, but the first thing I remember from the dream is that I was in the gym and everybody else was in my, in my gym class. Everybody else was sitting and the teacher was just talking to us about something important. I remember him saying the word important, but I forgot about it when I woke up about what he was telling us about. But it was something about grades, I don't know. He has actually talked to us about grades in real life. He tells it to the whole class to do better because you're gonna fail gym, but he really only mentioned, he's really only talking to about five people. Five or six people. Everybody else is pretty much passing. Those five or six people, uh, they don't do anything at all. They don't care that we're playing soccer right now uh, at this moment. That's the unit we're on. These five people were put in a soccer team. I was put with them. It was 6v6. Uh, so one goalie in each team, so it's 5v5, two goalies, I guess. Uh, I was on their team. They, I was the only one running, and he just kind of flipped because they're not doing anything. But anyway, uh, it's something important I forgot. We then went to the locker room, but it was different on how we go to the locker room uh, in real life. I'm going to try to draw out how I go to the locker room in real life. Okay, guys, so I am... Just gonna do this real quick, cause in I explained it really terribly. Okay, so this is the locker room right here, usually for gym. I only drew the things that were needed, by the way. So I go through this door, go through this small hallway, go through this door, and this is where we play stuff. Stuff. We would play basketball, soccer, floor hockey. It was all on this area. This all of this area is the East Gym, by the way. So yeah. That's how it is in real life. I did a terrible job of explaining it in the video, so I'm doing it here. In the dream, we needed to go around the corner of the building, uh, across a catwalk-like thing, and up some stairs to the locker room. I remember complaining how, man, why aren't there rails? Because I almost fell a couple of times going upstairs to the locker room, and I complained that there wasn't any railing because I almost fell a couple of times. But it made sense to me, uh, as soon as I complained, because for whatever reason there were lockers on the wall of the on the walls of the stairs, so stairway, wall, wall, and there were lockers next to it, so you couldn't have railing. And now it's in third person. It's as if I'm watching a TV show. That is my dream. I saw a girl who looks like Kimberly from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and she was on the catwalk thing, but this now she was on a shore. It's the catwalk and in front of her is sort of like a dock almost I don't that's the best I can explain it she's looking at the water and then Rita shows up from Money for Power and just trying to take her powers she tries transforming into Bioman Pink but couldn't you don't know why Bioman Pink I don't even think I don't know the Bioman Morpher or the henching device whatever you want to call it but in the dream it was sort of I think it was in the dream it was sort of like the one from Jetman. Uh, I think she was about to raise her arm up and like touch the, her wrist. It was a wrist morpher. And she tried tapping it, but it's like, all right, let me morph. Uh, uh, Rita shoots at her or something. And she had a, a white bee on her chest. Rita took the bee to, in order to take her powers and then hit in the water. Then the rest of the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger team shows up, except for green and white. They're the same person, but still, it's the main five. No, well, the main four, I guess, because Kimberly's part of the main five. They went there looking for Rita, and Jason, or the Red MMPR, Mighty Morphin Power Ranger, said, hey, isn't that her in the water? Sort of noticed something glimmering, I guess. Billy, the smart one, said, no, why would she stay here? And they just disregarded it, and were like, yeah, why would she stay here? And they just teleported out. Maybe they didn't see Kimberly's body, or... Uh, if I remember right, her body was sort of disappearing in like a, a pink mist, sort of, as if when she lost her power she was losing her life. Uh, I don't know if her body disappeared or they didn't see her body, I don't know, body, body, boo -boo. Wait, uh, yeah. Those events probably didn't happen in that order, but still. 
So that's it for this stream. Uh, now I'm not gonna forget, I dreamt it on the night of April Fools and on the morning of April 2nd. This dream probably means that just one, the school's gonna be renovated, uh, two, I don't remember older Sentai suits and seasons, and I'm gonna go to a dock sometime in the future. I'm gonna see a white bee and I'm gonna freak the heck out when I see a white bee on someone's chest. But that's it for this stream. Uh, if you enjoyed, consider sticking around, watching more videos from me. But that is it. See you in the next one.